Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here, and I appreciate the support, and I'm also celebrating for making 10,000 subs. I appreciate all you guys, all your supporters, everyone that has been in my corner helping out this channel. We definitely appreciate everything, all the love and everything that you guys have done. I'm back with another video review. This time, I'm actually doing another one on the Passport Sis. Yes, we're, we're going to talk about them again because, of course, you know that I got to bring balance. That's the reason why I talk about the Passport Sis because a lot of times everybody loves talking about the Passport Bros, uh, the, the Blue Book Gentlemen, Travelers, whatever you could think of. So now I'm here to bring balance again to talk about them or what they do. <laughs> so this time we're going to do some video reviews. Uh, this is about them being in Dubai. <laughs> so this is going to be a good one. So for, without further ado, let's jump into this video. And with this video, uh, she's actually going over a story. She's actually reading a story of one of the women, uh, one of these TikTok girls or Instagram models that, that actually goes to Dubai. So let's check this out. I was starting to doubt what the hell I got into. Six of them were fat and all of them were hairy and it was intense. We started drinking to ease the nerves and the guys don't even pay attention to us or say anything to us. They just sat there and played board games and smoked cigars. A few, a few hours later, one of their servants comes up and tells us it's time. We all go to separate rooms, and the servant tells us to get completely naked and lay on the bed and don't move. I was beyond fucked up at the time, and a million thoughts were running through my head. Three of the guys came in the room, and all of them were wearing robes. The first guy takes his robe off and makes me get closer to him on the edge of the bed, and then he sticks it in me. Three to four minutes later, he makes a real a weird yelling noise in Arabian and takes his wee wee out. She said the other <laughs> word. <laughs> Jumps on the bed and then ejaculate <laughs> out all over my face. I tried to wipe off. I tried to wipe it out of my eye. He slapped my hand so hard in the face, and uh little kids i'm gonna call them splatters everywhere and yells at me not to move white b-i-t-c-h so the next two guys take a little longer maybe seven or eight minutes to do the same now my face just glazed i hear all three walking out laughing and the servant comes in to tell me not to clean my face takes my hands and walks me to the shower i thought it was done nope while in the shower my three guys came back in and literally started peeing on me. My boyfriend said to go to the shower, so it was nothing. Hold on, I gotta pause that. Let's bring that back again. What she just said. On me. My boyfriend is into golden shower, so it was nothing for me. She said her boyfriend is into golden showers. <laughs> oh man. So she's in Dubai and she has a boyfriend and she's getting screwed. She's going to pound town with these dudes in Dubai to get that money. And she used to go to showers from her boyfriend. Current boyfriend, that is. And and she's doing all this stuff. Come on, man. Come on. That's messed up. They basically clean my face off with their pee. Ten minutes later, I finally get to wash off, and that was it. <laughs> we sat down after we washed off and had a great dinner and drank some and drank and did some more blow. Throughout the night different guys in groups of one to four grab us and take us in mm. the room and have sex with us i wasn't bad at all oh, oh, oh really oh yo that's that's pretty much that that shows you what's be what's be going on but i got more of course i have more so in the video it says so if you ever wonder if what you heard about dubai is true let's see if you ever wondered if what you heard about dubai is true it is <laughs> like the girls out here are literally getting shit and pissed on Bruh. i thought the bathroom smelled like urine i opened up one of the drawers after dinner there's a t-shirt filled with urine and poop oh i get that all cleaned up get ready for bed get in the bed the bed smells like urine the sheets smell like urine i strip the bed oh i'm disgusted i'm on the couch i can't sleep yo <laughs> Just nastiness is going on in Dubai. Come on, man. This says POV, your favorite influencer living their best life in Dubai. Things that our people do for money. 
Things that our people do for money. <laughs> these women are clowning these these Instagram models. I got another one. That was too good. <laughs> the dead Dubai girl the after eating poop purr. for money. Thank you. Hell nah. These women are clowning them. <laughs> Thing about it is that they're getting clowned because people know, everybody know to be out there doing something strange for a little piece of change. That's what they're doing. So this video right here says, the shit girls do for money in Dubai is crazy. Don't watch it. Just don't. <laughs> Let's check out her reaction. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you know she want to say some shit, but let's move on. In Dubai, there's obviously there's a lot of beautiful women, lots yeah. of different nationalities, and then quite a lot of them are doing some shady stuff. Of course, yeah. And mm -hmm. I think some guys are aware of it, but a lot of guys, particularly me when I first moved here, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, but you really? need to have an eye for it. And now that, and when you first moved here, you were not the man you are today. No. Not three years ago, I was not the man that I am today. It's just a natural progression of being a man. But you learn, now that you have some more money and some more status, you learn how to spot signs. For me, it's incredibly easy. But again, I have money. Uh, I'm going to stop it there. It's not because it's just you having money. It's when, you, when you've been around a block and you know what's up, when you seen things, like from your travels and so forth, you already know what's up. You know what girls are doing. You know what people are doing because you'll see it in every country you go to. It may not be right there in your face, but you could always notice and, and and see the little bits of it, the breadcrumbs that will actually get you to see the full picture. <laughs> so, so it's more than just having money. That's just me. For a lot of young guys, they'll see girls in Dubai at a dinner table with four of their girlfriends and you know, up having fun in Dubai or whatever, they'll see them standing on some little boat, they'll see them at this beach, at this club, and they don't think anything of it. I follow the money, I add up the numbers. Yeah, Girls who live luxurious lives in Dubai may well have a boyfriend or a husband. That's fine, who's got money? But they shouldn't be messaging you if they are. Mm -hmm. If a girl's messaging you, hey, I'm single. You're like, okay, cool, you're single. And then I'll say, you know, what are you doing tonight? And they'll say, oh, I'm out for dinner. And then I see on their Instagram, it's her at Gal. And I can see the table, the physical table. And there's a steak, a lobster thermidor, and 500 grams of caviar on the table with a bottle of Dom Perignon. I'm like, okay, this girl told me that she's a makeup artist. That's $4,000. Yeah. That's how much that costs because I know because I spend the same money and I go to the same places. Oh, I'm just at the club with my friends. Say la vie, 10 bottles of Dom Perignon. Okay, that's nine, ten thousand $10,000 right there. Who's paying for that? if she's single. Mm -hmm. So I think following the money is the best advice I can give to people. You know, look at their Instagram and look how expensive True. the things that they're doing are. I'm just here with my girlfriends. They're riding those dune buggies around the desert and they're on desert safari. I'm like, okay, that's 400, 500, $600 each. What did this girl say she did? Waitress uh, in Italy? Yeah. Like you just have to understand that, you know, the money doesn't come from nowhere and the lifestyle doesn't come from nowhere. The funny thing is when they say they're with their friends and they're not actually posting their friends half the time. Yes, It's I always know. very close up yep. shots of the dinner. Message. Maybe a little shot from the boat. Yeah. And, and by all means, and there's nothing wrong with having a man take you on an expensive dinner. There really isn't. But you just have to be able to tell the difference, the nuanced differences between what they're doing. So if a girl's here on vacation and she takes a picture of a $4,000 dinner, fine. Maybe some rich man's taking her out. Maybe I took her out. Mm. Who knows? And she's posting this on her Instagram story when I'm in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't care. But if she says I'm out for dinner with friends and it's a waiter taking a picture of four girls, her and her four girlfriends who live in, I don't know, Spain, sitting at the Burj Al Arab with $11,000 worth of food on the table, I'm like, okay, somebody has said, go downstairs and eat what you want and you four girls come up to the penthouse afterwards, mm. wink, wink. That's mm. what's happened here. Exactly. And you need to be able to see those things because you have to understand the, the culture of how some people live in any city in the world that has money and the culture of the women who come here. But if you don't have an eye for it, you can very easily fall into traps. Yeah. That's facts, that's facts. He said basically follow the money and, and all that makes sense. That's what you have to do. <laughs> Whenever you see these women are doing what they're doing, a lot of times, you know, Instagram models, I'm like, you guys don't make that much money. You know, for you to be living these lavish lives, moving around, going to these lavish vacations. We already know this. We already put, we already added two plus two, one plus one, all that stuff. We did the math. We already know what's up. So, hey, it is what it is. This is how they're getting their money, being degraded, 
But of course, everybody talks about the passport bros. They try to say that, you know, passport bros do a lot of wrong things. They're horrible. But in so many words, these women are degrading themselves. But this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out the video. Don't forget to leave a message below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. <laughs>